Uh, hi, Oxvlog. I feel like I'm being a bit of a terrible Oxvlogger because, well, first of all, I hadn't really thought about what to talk about today, although I think I should probably talk about interviews because those are coming up. Um, but as you might be able to deduce from the fact that I'm in a hotel room, I am not actually in Oxford, I'm in London. And the past week, a large proportion of that has also been spent in London. So basically, I don't really have much footage from Oxford or much to talk about Oxford. Um, the reason I'm here is for YouTube related things. I won this YouTube Next Up thing, which is really exciting and I'm really, genuinely really, really excited about it. But I also realised that I just don't really have much to say about Oxford, or rather it's not what's at the forefront of my mind, because I know there's this really exciting week coming up and it's not what I'm thinking about. Um, I've been working on my DPhil. I do have what looks like some exciting results and I'm going to a conference in a couple of weeks and I'm going to be presenting there but I probably can't show any footage from that because it's a very tight-knit conference for people funded by specific funding bodies so you're not allowed to talk about the research outside which um, is not very handy. However I did make a vlog on my other channel Draw Curiosity um, about Nalgas which was a science communication conference I went to so I'll link that there because if you do actually fancy looking at a vlog that's properly edited with um, nice footage and an actual narration of something that's happening. I am actually really pleased with how that turned out. I also re-dyed my hair this morning and somehow I've managed to also dye half of my forehead and my hands and I'm aware it looks quite silly but I will figure out how to get rid of that. However, I do want to give you a very quick tip of advice for your interviews if you've got those coming up. There's plenty of advice that could be given and obviously it's going to vary a lot on your subject but the advice that worked for me and which I recommend is simply enjoy your time, enjoy your interview. You've been invited, uh, they're going to want to see how enthusiastic you are about the subject. They're not necessarily testing your knowledge, they're more seeing what you already know but mainly how you apply the knowledge you have to think. You don't need to know everything because you know you're coming to uni to learn even more. It's not about how much you know but rather how you apply what you do know. So. Remember, you've applied for this subject because you really want to do it. In my case, I applied for biological sciences because when I saw the course structure, I thought, oh my God, this is basically my dream course. I never even thought I was going to apply to England. Um, I'm from Spain and was planning on going to university in Seville, in my city, because that's kind of what everyone does in Spain. We're not really, we don't really think about leaving the country until I happened to look at biological sciences and I thought that would be exactly what I'd love to do. They had all kinds of courses. So when I went to the interview, you know, I had a certain knowledge of biology from what we've done at school, but I knew it was going to be different to what people in the UK have learned for A-levels. So if you are coming from the UK, you probably have a certain advantage in that I imagine the tutors will be familiar with what curriculum you know and don't know. However, I, you know, I had some understanding of biology and I knew I was passionate about it. I could uh, you know, I could answer questions to do with biology and I think the most important bit is it's fine if you don't know the answer to a question if they ask you what do you think the answer to this is it doesn't matter if you say I don't know but I know this and this and this so I think putting all of these things together that the answer could be found out in this way and that way they get to see exactly the way you're thinking about things even though you know they're not really looking, checking to see that even encyclopedia and you know everything, but rather, do you have the ability to think critically and analyse a question to provide an answer? Of course, this might vary if you're doing chemistry or maths or perhaps some more problem-focused um, degrees, which maybe they will have a problem sheet for you. And again, if you're doing something that involves a lot of reading and you say you've read a book, then expect to be picked up on that. They will ask you. So I noticed you mentioned that you've read The Selfish Gene. I didn't write that on my personal statement because truth be told, I had not read, had I? I think I read it after the interview, but I didn't have it in my personal statement. But if you do say you've read something, make sure you have because they will be asking you things that appear in your personal statement. So, you know, they'll have some set questions and then they'll have some other ones that are going to be specific to you to get to know you as a person, to make you comfortable. So yeah, make sure you've not lied in your personal statement and that you're familiar with it. And I think that's basically my advice for interviews. Go in to enjoy it. You've applied because you enjoy the subject you're doing, so show them that you enjoy 
biology or chemistry or maths or geography or English or history or whatever it is that you've applied for. So if you're having an interview, best of luck, enjoy your time. I've already said this like five times, but anyway, I will see you in two Mondays time, hopefully, or I'll try and make a video over the vacation. And if not, then I'll be back in Hillary.